What up, huh? What does it do? Who is your crew red or blue? What do you wear red, black, and green like my brothers do? Fan is on the scene, hot in the mud. Like welcome, welcome, welcome to the Alkaline Hour. It's your brother, none other than Brother Show, baby. And I'm in here with a, another episode. You know, getting down. What we doing? We doing an alternative to this catch up, you dig? What we doing is making our own ketchup. You see, the thing with these Heinz and these other uh, companies, they use a lot of high fructose corn syrup and other uh, preservatives and just different chemicals. It ain't just tomato juice in them ketchup packages that you getting from. McDonald's, Water Burger, Jack in the Box, Taco Bell, Del Taco, Carl's Jr. All these, go to chicken all these motherfuckers. It ain't tomato juice and the mother. Okay? So, you get your own tomato, get you about six of these motherfuckers. Then you come holler at me. Okay, alright. Once you got your tomato thing, right? You come to me when you got your spices and herbs. And then, oh, what? You got your goddamn blender and your spice and herb game up with you about six, seven, eight tomatoes, depending on how much coconut. I mean, that now not coconut, but depending on how much ketchup you trying to catch up with. All right, so we're going to put about three up in there. How many can fit? I'm going to dash a little clove. You know what I'm saying? Just because it's an approved, um, it's an approved spice. That's so probably too much. But let me do my ch chipotle. You know, I like, my, I like my stuff hot. You know, I just got some onion powder that I freshly liberated from Walmart. Ooh. In between episodes, I definitely had to go straight to Walmart and go steal, I mean, liberate some onion powder. What else did I liberate? Chili powder. Let me do a little deal weed just for some nutrients you did. Smoke paprika. You know what I'm saying? Just to smoke it and pap it, prick it, die. You did. Let me put some extra because, you know, and let me do my turmeric, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Just to decalcify that pineal gland, man. I'm just saying. And crystallized ginger in that joint. You know what I'm saying? Just because I like to ginger me that kind of sometimes. Hey, Kimberly, you see something, y'all? And you know me, man. I'm freaky. So I'm going to go ahead and freak it out with a little bell pepper in the joint, too. There we go. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, kind of yeah, we like that. Yeah, kind of okay. Alright, All right. Yeah, so I I'm gonna dash it like a little moringa in here, just for some extra nutrients. You know how we do. Just wearing the That motherfucker got some uh, grapeseed oil. So now we gonna cook 
a ketchup mix. We're going to cook it until it starts looking like ketchup. I'm looking like ketchup. And while I do that, I'm going to also stir it. You know what I'm saying? Just because that looked like what I should probably do is stir it. So we're going to mix. We're going to keep stirring our, our mix. You know, it's going to get hotter and hotter. We got it on medium heat. And we're going to just water whip it. Like the Migos be talking about. I think they be talking about like that. You know, I've been studying the Migos for a minute. And I think this is how they be. They be oh, you hear that motherfucker sizzling? You hear that motherfucker talking to you? That nigga 2 Chain said, left wrist. Right wrist, whip it ambidextrous. Oh, I said what? I said what? See the boy. You see, some recipes call for vinegar, but mm, we're gonna skip out on this time. Next time we use vinegar, see the difference. But I know if I was planning on keeping this for a while, I'll probably use vinegar for storing purposes. But mm, we'll see. Shit. And so you wanna whip it. You want to whip it like the Migos be doing and shit. You got a water whip. We went ahead and cooked it for about 10, 10 minutes or so. And you see the color change. May have been a little longer over 10 minutes. I ain't time this shit. But so, uh, just get your color change. You see it thicken up. And go ahead and let it, uh, go ahead and let it freeze. Freeze it so you can taste it. So what we did is just let it boil till it thickened up. You know what I'm saying? It's thickened. You see the color change. It's a little bit of avocado, but anyway, you see it's thickened. I got my strainer next time I'm strain the shit out. And I'm gonna show you what we talk about. Then we gonna freeze it up, uh, you know, let it cool down. And then you gonna move around. So we have our ketchup. Smells good in the motherfucker. Hot in the motherfucker. We're gonna let it cool down. Come back. Let y'all see what it's looking like. Alright, so we back. Um, we finished making our ketchup. We cooled it down. Now we finna season it. Season it up. All right, so we have a very special guest on the uh, show today. Um, you know, what we're just going to have her do is, you know, give you some real personal feedback, real life feedback, and see uh, what this shit is hitting like. We're going to do the honor. You think it's a ketchup replacer? <laughs> Be sure to subscribe, uh, follow, and share this video for your family.